Hey guys, and welcome back to this recent linen channel. I'm Janelle, and today I'm gonna show you a nice big long time lapse of me weaving this giant custom woven wall hanging, and then I'm gonna give you some tips on working on large scale weavings. So now that I'm done weaving this giant woven wall hanging, I wanted to give you a few tips on working on large scale projects like this. So the first one would be make sure that your warp is tight enough, but also not too tight. I think I've talked about this before in another episode, um, but it's really important that you get this tension right or it's gonna drive you nuts the whole time you're weaving. So I actually had it too loose and after I was done the river portion, I had to tighten it back up because it was so loose that the strings were falling off the loom at the top as I was weaving. So I stopped, I tightened it up, and I kept going, which is not a big deal at all. Take the time to get it right because it'll save you a lot of time in the long run. So another tip I have is to create a pattern for your weaving. So this is just foam core board that I picked up from the dollar store. It's really inexpensive. I taped a couple pieces together. This is from the Lululemon project I worked on. And I basically just put this up on the wall and projected my image on top of it and traced it out. You can also just freehand draw this. I just was looking for the quickest way to do it. And then all I did was tape this on the back of my loom and that still gives you a little bit of space between this and your warp. And then you have something to follow. So if you think that you just, you can't handle just the blank canvas that is an empty warp, then create a pattern first to give yourself some guidance. I didn't do that on this particular one because this is super similar to the Lululemon weaving. So I was able to just kind of look at a picture and do something similar. And I mean, make sure you have enough materials. So that's another one that's really important. Um, if you don't wanna buy excessive amounts of material, just make sure it's something that you can get locally and easily if you need to buy more. 
And that's about it, you guys. I really encourage you to try a large scale weaving. They're really fun. And if it seems intimidating, try one because the second time around, it feels a million times easier. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.